clear on your mission? Yes. Retreat and return. I understand. Rise.
many as 400,000 people and forced another 2 million from their homes over the last two years. The fighting in Sudan's Darfur region is You're late. Look at them. Destroying each other like animals. I don't understand why we're here anymore. Return here after the seventh day. And bring them back to me. And then you can take my place, and I can return. Do not fail me. If you don't return, I will find you. to go.
Maybe he died of fright. Like he saw the chupacabra or something. No sign of cardiac distress. There's also a few things that just don't add up. Weird things like, I don't know. It's like the life was just sucked out of him. Maybe it was a vampire rat sucking the vital life juices from unsuspecting vagrants in the night. Where do you come up with this stuff? It's called imagination, Dick. Get some. Yeah. I can imagine myself unemployed if I started entertaining thoughts like that. <laughs> so another autopsy? Well, I'm still waiting for confirmation, but probably. We'll get started in the morning. How's the wife doing? She has her good days. I saw one of her exhibitions at the Museum of Modern Art over the weekend. It's pretty cool. Thanks. Can you hear me again? Thank you. <sighs> Autopsy, huh? Damn. I was hoping to chip balls in my backyard. And by that, I mean work on my golf game. I don't mean, like, break off little pieces of my testicles. You know that, right? Sharon's been asleep for an hour now, Mr. Marble. She had her dinner and took her medicine. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Dickie! Dickie! Mo mo moisture. Moisture, Dickie. Dick Dickie? Mo moisture, Dickie. Dickie! Moisture. Dickie. Oh, Danny. Hello. How is school tomorrow? It's Richard. So you've done a thorough examination of the body? Well, as thorough as I can without a knife. I couldn't ascertain a cause of death. Why? Whatever that unfortunate glitch was is uh, obviously the result of a malfunction of the camera. Regardless, we clearly have ourselves a homicide here. That's really odd. I didn't see any evidence of... <laughs> of anything, really. My initial report reflects that. Have you started in on your autopsy? No. I was waiting for confirmation from you. 
which I presume is irrelevant now? Well, uh, maybe we could both save ourselves a lot of work if uh, you altered your findings. But the guy was a vagrant. He was a nobody. I mean, chalk his death up to natural causes and move on. What about this? Forget it. This, uh, this doesn't exist. I don't know. Why don't you let me autopsy the body? If I can't come up with a cause of death in a couple of days, well, you're welcome to come up with whatever reason you like. All right. I think you'll be wasting your time. Yeah, well, it's my time. Fine. Have it your way. Just let me know as soon as possible. I gotta file a report in the next three days. And you have to get back, right? Because you can't. You can't. You just focus on yourself. Absolutely. There you go. Hey. Thank you so much. volunteer are you volunteering for the charity do, do you speak English hablas inglés yes oh yeah, so you do understand I speak I don't understand what do you mean we're talking you understand me right Have I seen you around someplace? I, I feel like I know you. What's your name? Name. I'm Linda. 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 If you don't want to tell me your name, that's okay. I just need something to call you by. Why? <laughs> well, how else am I supposed to know who? Okay. Uh, let's skip the name. But I really would like if you told me why you're here. I'm searching. Searching? No, I, I just work with the charity. If you need help or guidance, I can refer you to a counselor. Yes, you need help. What? <laughs> what do you mean, no? I'm asking if, if you need help. I know. Are you sure we don't know each other? I need help here. OK. No. No, please. Energy. You're hungry? Yes, hungry. This is not a soup kitchen. We're please. just- Please. Okay, I'm not supposed to do this, but let me see what I can find in the back.
cleaned your brushes the other day. Maybe if you're feeling up to it, do a little painting. Or not. When is Danny coming home? He's been gone so long now. Danny's not coming home. What do you mean? Nothing. Just, just forget about no, it. No, no, no. What do you? What do you mean? Nothing. What? What do you? What do you mean? Danny's David? dead. Oh! Oh! just needed to talk to someone. You shouldn't call me here. I know. I, I'm, I'm sorry. How's Sharon? She's... She's not doing well. I, I can't... The doctors still don't know what's wrong? She's on antipsychotics, but... I just think they're making her worse. Oh, Richard. This is all my fault. I just turned a second earlier. It was an accident. You know that. I need to see you. I can't, Richard. I, Ellen and I were, were in counseling. We're doing a lot better now. Our relationship, it was a mistake. I miss you. Richard, don't call me anymore. I was expecting you. I was waiting for you for a long time now. To return? I'd love to stay. There's so much life here left to experience. But this vessel is failing me now, and everyone I've come to know here is gone. Gone? They died. My husband Charles, my beautiful daughters, Christine and Anne. They were in the sky when... I loved them so much. I came to know them. Their thoughts, their dreams like I know my own. I don't understand. I can't explain this to you. Our kind don't have the words for these things. That's why we are here, to experience it for ourselves, to understand. Mm. Some have resisted returning. This place is different from home. We are separate from others, from other thought, other feeling. Some of us desire the isolation, the emptiness. For others, it drives mad. I just don't want to be alone anymore. So 
Well, Virginia was my patient for a number of years. I was treating her for an aggressive form of leukemia. Don't know what happened, but I checked for cardiac arrest, drug overdose, nothing. Frankly, it's the damnedest thing I'd ever saw. It was almost... Like the life had been sucked right out of her? Yeah. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Something. It's not some crazy superbug contagion. I'm not going to be quarantined, am I? It's not contagious as far as we can tell. That's good. The nurse slipped the other day with a bedpan full of shit and fluids, and it got all up in my hair and eyes. It just... So... You said something about an EKG? Ah, yes, EKG. She was wearing a portable monitor, and uh, it was normal I, for all the time. And then, you know, you see here, normal, normal, and then boom. Hmm. What would cause a disturbance like that? Maybe an energy field or something? Energy field. Bullshit, you were thinking. Get these goddamn cholos out of here. You don't got stereotypes like that, fool. Shut the hell up and get out of my house. Damn, your sister's grievous, Holmes. What the hell is wrong with you? How many times have I told you you can't have those people over here? <laughs> uh, that's not funny. It's bad enough you're smoking that shit, but if your parole officer catches you hanging around with those guys? Those guys? That's a little bit racist. Oh, racist? Yeah, those are my friends. They're good dudes. Oh, good dudes? Mm -hmm. mm, Bloody Loco is a good dude? I've seen him selling <laughs> weed outside the shelter. What? I, 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 I only invited open. Okay, it's mm -hmm. not my fault that he brought along Bloody Loco. All right, and yo, why are you busting on me like this? Because I put my ass on the line for you. I promise that judge that I keep my stupid brother. Half brother. My brother out of trouble. And to see you messing around, hanging around with that trash. Oi! Well, shit, who the fuck is this? He's a friend from work. Bullshit! That's just another one of your fucking bums. Don't call is. him a bum. Wait, and you want to lecture me? No, no, I remember the last friend you let stay here. Robbed our VCR. So? They don't make them anymore. Don't put this on me. You're the one that's messing up around here. Yeah, so what? This is my life, too. If I want to smoke a little reefer, if I want to have some friends over, have a good time, I can do that. That's my right. It's my inalienable right. You're not mom. Oh, I'm all you got, asshole. 
So you better start respecting me or I swear I'm gonna throw your ass out on the street. I'm not playing. I know what it's like out there. It's not pretty. All right. All right. Damn. You are fucking grievous. Mm. I've seen a guy without a shirt on before. Here, I'll help. to look at. <laughs> I'm looking at your eyes. I've never seen them this close before. There, uh, there's something in your ear. Oh. Did you do magic? No. Well, how'd you learn that? somebody who did magic once. The best trick was disappearing from my life. Can you turn around? I know you didn't want to tell me before, but I think I should know where you're from. I don't know. You don't know if you want to tell me, or you, or you just don't know? I, I just don't know. You can't remember? What do you remember? Faces. Sometimes things. Places. Okay. Well, um, I'll be in the other room if you need something. We can just take a shower and clean up. the woman? Nothing. Toxicology came back on the other guy, though. Other than some cheap booze, he was clean. You talked to homicide? Yeah. Typical apathetic BS. Really pisses me off. Well, I suppose some terminal case croaking in the middle of the night isn't a pressing concern. Finally got this room working, huh? Nobody used it anymore. Figured no one mind if I used it for my little art project. I haven't developed film in years. Let's say I miss it. Digital photography just doesn't have the same life to it. <laughs> life. Taking pictures of the dead. And even in death, there is life. There's some bullshit like that. That's good. You should write that on a greeting card.
What's that? What? Looks like a blurry light over her face. Oh, shit. Not again. I must have gotten a bad batch of film. A lot of weird artifacts have been showing up on my photos lately. Which photos? A couple, recently. Why? You still have them? both from the same case. What? This man, the woman, both died of unexplained causes. Both their photos have the same anomaly. I don't know. It just looks like fogging on the film. Give me the negatives. Do you want to say grace? Do you want to say something before we eat? Por qué tanto? Dios al mundo, que dio a su Hijo un genito, para que todo el cree en él no se pierda, sino tenga vida eterna. Amen. That was really beautiful. I didn't know you spoke Spanish. Do you work for the church? Church? No. Why did you learn the verse? I didn't. Oh. <laughs> hey, so, dude, do you like have a name? Name? Yeah. You know, Tom, Dick, Butthead. Ow! <laughs> you may call me Manuel. Manuel. Manuel, huh? I'm calling him Butthead. <laughs> what? Stop. It looks like a butthead. Just eat You really gonna let that bum spend the night? Look, he's hurt. He was attacked by some guys outside the shelter. It's not safe for him on the street. What if he's some psycho killer? Hmm? He's not a psycho killer. You don't know that. I know, okay? You think he's got amnesia or something? What? But he's not crazy. What? Amnesia? What if all of a sudden he just remembers that he's a psycho killer? He like stabs us while we're asleep. You shut up. That's how shit happens. Okay. Just talk. Listen, I can defend myself. You know? Shh. All right. I'm just worried about you. Okay. Look, if he even farts in your direction, it's going to be one of these. Go. All right? Yes. Bye. Here's some pillows. I wish we had an extra bed, but that couch is actually pretty comfortable. You and Victor, 
What is half-brother? We have the same mother, but different fathers. Uh, his father and my mother, they passed away. Passed away to where? They were in a car accident. They died. I'm the oldest, so I kind of became the responsible one around here. <laughs> my father, my, my real father, he left when I was little. Are you angry with him? Angry is too nice of a word for what he did to us. He left our mother with a hungry child with no money for food or rent. We were on the street for three months before someone took us in. He didn't even tell us why he was leaving. He just disappeared. So, yeah. I'm angry with him. Wouldn't you be? Anyway, um, I don't know how long you can stay here, but I'll see if I can get you into one of the housing units. There's a wait list, but I'll see if I can pull some strings. He doesn't like me. Who, Victor? <laughs> don't let him bother you. He just needs to be the tough guy. Butthead, what does it mean? <laughs> Good night, Manuel. Don't let the bed bugs bite. What, you can't see it? I'll be laughed out of the courtroom if I present that as evidence. Look, I know it seems crazy, but it's the only lead we have. You're right. It does seem crazy because it is. One anomaly on a photograph doesn't make a case. Then how about two? Look, just run it through the computer and see if you get a match. <laughs> Maybe it'll turn up something. All right, I'll run them both through tomorrow morning. Hey, Linda, did you fix that chair in the garage? What? Did you fix Mom's old chair? No, why? I walked in there this morning and it was magically fixed. I, uh, I fixed it. You fixed it? Couldn't sleep. Huh. You did a pretty good job. 
You got skills, huh? Uh, I, um, I just so happen to need some help today. Uh, we're adding a room to this dude's house. Nothing too complicated. And I need a couple extra hands. You up for it? Up. I'm offering you a job, dude. And the offer expires in 10 seconds, so answer quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Okay, all right. All right, first day you work for me for free. If you work out, then we can talk money. So don't fuck it up. John Doe. They picked him up in Seattle about six years ago for shoplifting. Said he didn't have a name. Seemed to suffer some kind of paranoid delusions. So they released him to the state. Somewhere along the line, he vanished. What do you mean? He escaped. He disappeared. I, I don't know. Nobody knows what happened to him. I mean, until now. Well, this has to be the suspect. Suspect of what? As far as you're telling me, there hasn't been a murder. So there's no crime to prosecute him for, right? He must be doing something. Using a poison we haven't identified. I'll find it. What are you going to do with this? I'll put out an APB and we'll bring him in for questioning. But unless we get a confession, oh, we're going to be skating on really thin ice here. It's Richard. Me. Never. No. No one's trying away. to take you no, away. No, we're going to take me. No, no one's never, trying to take never. me away. Yes, you are. No, 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 I know you are. You, no, I know you are. Stay away from me. Stay away. Stay away. I've administered a sedative to calm her down, but the hysteria could return once it wears off. I recommend that you have her committed uh, for the time being. I'm not ready to take that step. She's become a danger to herself at this point. But no one has given me an explanation about what's wrong, whether it's physical or psychological or something else. Her symptoms present like advanced prion disease, but the tests were all negative. In the absence of physical symptoms, I can only conclude that they're psychological. After the stress of the accident and your, well, the death of your son, her mind broke partially from reality. She was still herself after the accident. Danny's death hit us both hard, but we were dealing with it. It wasn't until the headache started and she got on that MRI machine. Something happened in there. Confined spaces can sometimes trigger a suppressed traumas. She's not claustrophobic. And she used to go in isolation tanks all the time to tune out the world. She said it helped with her art. I know you don't want to face this, Richard, but she needs to be put under observation. She could run again. She believes there's a man after her, a man with, with white glowing eyes coming to take her away. To where? To some place, to some other dimension, maybe. I don't know. She wasn't speaking very coherently. She needs trained professionals to look after her. You can't do it alone. If anything changes, I'll give you a call. Consider it, please, before it's too late. Mira, son 12 por 12. Más saca le viene el nivel. Hey, Manny! Manuel! Butthead! Come here!
I need you to run an errand for me. You know that hardware store we stopped at earlier today? Yes. All right. I need you to walk down there and grab a bag of two-inch double-headed nails. All right? Yeah. It's real. Hurry up. Go. How's Manuel doing? How's Manuel doing? Yeah, well, well, why don't you tell me? Huh? That fucker bailed on me. What? Where'd he go? I don't fucking know where he went. I sent him to go get some nails. And he fucking split with my 20 bucks. He's probably smoking crack in MacArthur Park. And you let him go alone? I told you that there was people after him. Hey, hey, do not give me this shit. All right? This is the last time I help out one of your lost causes. What's your name? Your real name? Some call me Manuel. Okay, Manuel. You mind telling us what you did to those guys in the cul-de-sac? Our guys say they found you standing over the bodies, so for all intents and purposes, it appears as though you killed them. Want to tell us what happened? I didn't kill them. You didn't kill them? No. Who did? No one. No one, huh? What about them? 
Did no one kill them too? Yes. If no one killed them, what happened? I took them. You took them? Yes. Took them where? With me. Are they with you now? Yes. They don't belong here. Where do they belong? Home. And where is home? That would be difficult to explain. Well, hell, Manuel. Try me. You go on. I can handle it. I've heard it all before, my friend. I'm trying to find a way to explain this where you would understand. Home is not here. You might say where we're from, it's a, another universe. Another universe? So there's more than one, huh? Yes. There are many. There are as many as there are stars in your galaxy. So you're taking your people back to another world because they don't belong here. What are you, an alien INS agent? Okay, tell me this, space man. How did these people get here in the first place if they're not supposed to be here? We are curious about you. We sent our people here to observe. And we give them bodies to inhabit. For reasons unknown to us, many have decided to stay. And I am beginning to understand why. Really? Well, that's super. You see, where we're from, we're all the same. There's no difference. Our thoughts are one. But here, they're separate. And this is a good thing. For some. What do you think? I'm leaving here tonight. <laughs> uh, no, you're not going anywhere until you actually tell us the truth. If I don't go there, he will come here for me. Who? The Guardian, the one who takes us back, the one who brings us to the other place. So what's he gonna do? Is he gonna beam you up? <laughs> what am I doing? Christ. I mean, why am I even entertaining this crap? You know what, Manuel? When you start feeling like you want to tell us the truth about these murders, you let me know. Well, he's either working an insanity plea or he truly is a nut job. What are you going to do? I can't do shit, really, without a cause of death. What do you got on those three new bodies? Nothing. Well, then he'll most likely walk. Are you kidding me? What about the pictures? The pictures aren't shit without a straight confession. I mean, we can keep him here, and we can work him over. But without a confession, it's going to be a long night. And if he's crazy, it's going to be a really long night. You know, there's one possibility you haven't considered here. Yeah, what's that? They just tell him the truth. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> this place is fucking filled with nutters. your relation to the suspect? Can I just see him, please? I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. You do understand he's the prime suspect in a series of murders. You've got the wrong guy. How can you be so sure? You just told me you've only known him for a few days. Manuel is not the type of person to hurt people. Really? Because these guys might disagree with you. You recognize any of the faces? I think maybe this one. 
is he? Nobody knows for sure, but some of the people we've questioned have called him Manuel. Interesting, huh? I think I may have seen him around the shelter a few times. The same shelter where you picked up your friend? I'm telling you, he's not a killer. I think he's just suffering from some kind of amnesia or something. What makes you say that? The things he says, things he can't remember, like where he's from. Really? Because when I talked to him, he was quite certain about where he came from. What have you been telling the policeman like? What do you mean? They're telling me that you think that you're from another planet, that you're killing people and taking their souls. Is that true? No. Then what have you been telling them? From another universe. Don't play with me, Manuel. I'm the only friend you got. You start jerking me around, I'm gonna- He's sorry. What are you talking about? Who's sorry? Your father. He never meant to cause you so much pain. Stop it, Manuel. That's not funny. When he left, he left because his time was up. He had to return. When he came back, he didn't have the same body. He saw that your mother had started a new family. So he left her alone. He never meant to hurt you. When I took him, he led me back to you. He wanted to get to know you again. I don't believe this. After everything that I've tried to do for you, Victor's right. You are crazy. Goodbye, my wife. Linda! Sharon, it's time for your medicine. Sharon? You're feeling it, aren't you? The fear. Yes. It's because of her, isn't it? I don't want her to be alone. It's funny. We came here to be apart from others, to experience separateness. And then we come to find that all the souls here, all the year, is to make a connection with another. To have what we back home take for granted. To be one. But it's, it's different here. Yes. It means more, somehow. The fear, how do I make it go? You can't. You must embrace it. How? Do what you feel in your heart, in your mind. Do you 
lucky day. Hosted bail. Manuel. Go run. Who are you? I posted your bail. Why? Because I think you're telling the truth. She's one of you, isn't she? Yes. She's gone. I want her back. I can't bring her back. He took her. Who? Who took her? My guardian. He finished what I could not. And now he's coming for me. Only he has the power to bring her back. And help me find him. I don't have to. Why not? Because he's already here. What makes you think she wants to come back? You think she likes this place? Dicky? She hates it here. And she hates you. She's never forgiven you for the accident. For killing her son. For cheating her. Shut up! Your kind are so self-centered. You think the whole world revolves around you and your pathetic little needs. But you are nothing. Insignificant specks of dust. Every last one of you. Just shut up and do it! Do it! Now! Okay. Um, Richard? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Rich? You alright there, buddy? Not really. What, um, what are you doing with that naked dead body on top of you? Could you get it off me, please? <sighs> what happened? Is that your wife? Where's my gun? Where's my gun? You have a gun? Your wife is dead, Richard. I think you're in shock. She's not, and I'm not. I can get her back. How? I already told you how. What, what you told me is crazy. Aliens from another dimension? I know I told you to get some imagination, but I think this is taking things a little too far. He took my car. Give me your keys. You really think that's a good idea, chasing after an armed murder suspect? She's out there, Sam. She's lost. I have to find her. She's back there, Richard. I saw her body. Please, Sam, I'm not crazy. I've looked at the evidence. So have you. This is the only thing that makes sense. Maybe you want it to make sense. What choice do I have? I thought I was the nutty one in this relationship. Thank you. You see the aliens? Tell them I want off this rock. The air sucks, and I've seen all the good porn.
Where do you think you're going? None of your business. If you're going out to see that bum, it is my business. Will you get out of my way? No, why do you still care about this fool? Huh, you said it yourself. He's nuts. Because I do, Victor. I care, okay? And if that's a problem, then it's my problem. Yeah, well, if you haven't noticed, your problems, they have a tendency of getting out of fucking control. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God, what happened? Oh, hell no, hell no. Get that punk out of here. Would you leave him alone? Hey, where's my 20 bucks, punk? Here. Here's your stupid-ass 20. Now get out of here. No, no, hold on a second. No, this fucker right here leaves me high and dry, huh? And what, I'm supposed to just stand here and let him prance his ass in here? He's coming. Who? Wait, who who's coming? In the back. What? Oh. Stay, stay there! Wait! Stay there! What are you doing on my property, dude? You hard of hearing? I said, what are you doing on my property? Whoa, 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 yo, yo, you don't gotta do that, bro. Go and bring him to me. What? Go! Hey, man, I don't know what you're talking about. San Fernando Road. A man matching your suspect's description just checked in with a Hispanic woman. We ran their plates and the car is registered to Linda Castillo. Alright, I'm nearby. Send officers. If you really are what you say you are, my father, is he really with you? Yes. Do you talk with him? Sometimes. I hear his voice in my head. What does he say now?
really sorry. And he loves you. And he shouldn't have left. Can you tell him that, that I forgive him? You already have. He's coming. Unit 113, you can call off the APB. I've got the suspect apprehended. I'm bringing him in. Don't worry, we're gonna figure this all out. I'm telling you, and you're not listening. He didn't shoot my brother. There's somebody else that's after us. All right, we'll get it all straightened out down at the station We house. don't need to go down to the station. I'm telling you, we are in danger. You are in danger. See you've come to your senses. You have a woman with you. Return her to me. Return her and leave us be. She's not supposed to be. That's not for you to decide. No, it's not. It's our decision. Why would she want to be here? Why would anybody want to be here? The only thing I've ever known from this place is fear and anger and hate and death. There's more. There's much more. There's nothing. Let her go. I don't think so. Then I'll have to take her from you. You'll try.
heard about your wife. They told me she died in her sleep. At least she didn't suffer. It's been some kind of week, huh? Christ, I thought I was dead for a minute. Started seeing funny things. I'm not sure exactly what happened out there, but when I came to, the prime suspect was dead, as well as our John Doe who had assaulted me. Officers told me you were already on the scene when they arrived and that you had examined the bodies. Richard? I'm sorry, what? The bodies? Gunshot wound on the John Doe. And the other one? Natural causes. Shut up.